Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel of iNeuro. This is Mohit and today we are going to start our discussion on a very new topic that is programming with R. In this particular playlist, we are going to be discussing each and every aspect related to R programming in a very detailed manner. And I assure you that if you go through all the videos and this playlist thoroughly, then you will find programming with R is very easy. If you have any doubts uh, or any queries regarding our video, do post them in comment section and I'll get back to you. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and this particular playlist for programming with R. In this video, we are going to be discussing about the different aspects and topics of R that we are going to be covering throughout this complete playlist. So we'll start our discussion by introducing the R programming language. We'll talk about the history of R programming language. We'll see who created R programming language and we'll talk about the different languages over which R programming was built. Then we'll talk about one of the most important questions that is Python versus R. When to use Python and when to use R. What are the different key differences between both of these languages and what are the similarities as well. We'll see the different use cases and scenario so that you can decide whether you want to go with R or whether you want to go with Python. We'll talk about uh, what people, what kind of people uses R and what are the different uh, spatial packages available in R which helps them. So what are the benefits of using the R language? Then we'll talk about the different platforms that are available today, which you can use to write your command or program in uh, R. So R is a basically interpreted language and it can be a, it can be written in command line as well. But many uh, IDs and many, many uh, platforms are available with better visuals, uh, which you can use to write your uh, program in R. So you must have heard about R Studio. So apart from R Studio, there are multiple platforms that are available in the market and we'll be talking about all of them such as IntelliJ with R plugin, PyCharm with R plugin and there are many more. So we'll talk about uh, everything from installation and downloading installation and then using these particular platforms. So we'll be writing some basic codes so that you can uh, get familiar with all these environments and uh, then you can choose any one of those platforms and so that you can proceed with the rest of the course. We'll also talk about how to install packages in these uh, IDs. Then uh, we'll talk about some basic commands and the basic programming we'll do so that you can understand and get comfortable with these particular platforms. Then we'll start our programming with R. We'll talk about variables. What are the different variables that are available in R environment? Then we'll talk about operators. So what are the different kind of operators that uh, are present in R and how can we use them such as arithmetic operators, logical operators. So all, all these operators will be discussing one by one. Then we'll talk about the data types in R. So we'll talk about the different data types that are present such as matrices, vectors, data frames, lists, strings. So we'll talk about each of these data types individually and we'll talk the different, about the different methods that are present with these data types and how uh, we can do multiple operations in all of these uh, data types. So we, can, we will be discussing matrices, uh, data frames, vectors, lists, arrays and strings. Then we'll be continuing with conditional programming, that is use of if and else in R. We'll also talk about loops, such as for loops, while loops. We'll talk about break and continue statements. And then we'll also use the conditional statements such as if and else with these loops. Then we'll talk about reading uh, different kind of files, reading and writing different kind of files, such as ESP files, Excel files, even SAS files. So we'll study all those methods that are available in R, which will help you to read and write uh, in these kind of files. Then we'll talk about a very important aspect of programming that is memory management and memory allocation. So most many people ignore this part, but it is uh, very important if you want to be a good programmer, you must know how to do memory management or how memory is allocated in any language. So we'll discuss about uh, memory allocation and memory management in R also. Then uh, we'll talk about writing functions in R. What are the different built-in functions that are available that you can use? And also how can you write your own custom uh, functions? Then we'll come to the data manipulation part and we'll see uh, different uh, libraries and different packages which you can use to do data manipulation such as DPLYR, uh, TIDYR, uh, Stringr. So these are the different packages that are available and you can, you can readily use them to do data man manipulation. Then we'll talk about how to connect your R with a certain database. So there are also different uh, libraries available such as RMySQL or R school light. So we'll see how to use these libraries and how can we connect with the data set. Then we'll talk about one of the most important part of any programming language that is exception handling. So we'll also learn about exception handling in R. 
then we'll talk about uh, the data visualization part of R. So there are multiple libraries, many state of the art libraries that are present in R, which can help you to create very beautiful graphs. And uh, data visualization is very important because as much as you can visualize the data set, the more information can you get from the data set. So data visualization is actually very important. And when we talk about the benefits of R, we will see that data visualization is one of the uh, most uh, celebrated part of R. So we'll talk, uh, we'll talk about all the different graphs that are available in R, all the different uh, libraries such as ggplot, ggviz, and rgl that are available to create multiple uh, interactive gra graphs. And also we'll see how to create 3D graphs. So these are some of the topics that we are going to cover uh, in the introduction part of R. So there will be many more, more other topics that we'll be covering, but for the this introduction part, we'll be talking about all these things that you can do with R. So stay with us and uh, we'll start with the introduction part from next video and then onwards we can go ahead and uh, do the programming with different platforms. So I hope you enjoyed this course. So stay tuned. We'll be continuing this session very soon. So thank you for joining. Have a good day. Cheers. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel uh, because we are going to push more and more uh, courses in the coming time. Also, if you like the video, uh, do let us know in the comment section. And if you have any feedback, they are also most welcome and you can put them in the feed, uh, comment section as well. Do share this course with your friends so they can also benefit from this particular course. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining. Cheers.